All right, so you guys that watched my what did I buy on Black Friday video, um, well, all my stuff has finally arrived. Took a while, but it got here. And one of the things I've already mounted in the car because it didn't all come at once. It's one piece came, these two pieces just showed up. But I wanted to kind of show everything kind of together because there are a lot of us that may have, and it could be a fairly recent car. I, I, I was actually surprised when we just bought our 2015 Equinox, um, it's base model and I used of course, but it doesn't have any like Bluetooth audio. I can make phone calls through Bluetooth, but no audio features. Now for this all to work, what I'm going to show you, you do need an auxiliary import on your car. Uh, and that, and that's probably the primary thing. And I'm saying that you need that to work. And I'm hoping that this all works because I have that in our car. So hopefully this gives you an idea of maybe you don't have to like replace your car stereo. You can just kind of buy a couple of these little pieces and you're good to go. So we're going to show you what we bought, what I bought uh, for our vehicle to kind of let it get um, some Bluetooth audio for your, from your phone. Okay, so um, this this is not my first attempt at, at ever trying to have a car and give it the ability to kind of have Bluetooth for music and your maps and things like that. And previously, and I've tried this a lot, and in the area that we used to live in, it actually worked decently well, uh, we had tried some of these FM transmitters, and that's always a really good option. We've reviewed a whole bunch of those on our channel. Um, basically, you plug it into your 12 volt, your cigarette lighter, it transmits uh, to whatever FM frequency that you want and your phone Bluetooth to it and um, it transmits or receives over an FM signal. Now these work really well, especially if you're in an area that has some clean FM channels. So there's no radio stations that are kind of in that area or that are really powerful that overwrite um, that signal that that transmitters trying to transmit and that was the issue that we found where we were living here because i that was my first thing i had those i tried i tried a bunch of them and where we live there i just couldn't find a good signal that would work everywhere in and around our area i'd always have to be fiddling with it it was very staticky it, it just it just wasn't working well so uh i did some looking around and i and i came across this now, this is the primary piece. Now, for this to work again, you need an auxiliary input somewhere in your car. Now, sometimes it's on the deck, sometimes it's in the glove box, sometimes it's in the little glove, glove area down here, the little console mount. Um, but if you have one of these, this can be the answer. So here's the parts that I bought. So number one, I bought, and, I, and I've done a review. If you guys haven't seen it, you can go check. I bought one of these. This is the ESR Halo Lock. Um, and this is because I have an iPhone 13, um, which has um, magnetic or has the MagSafe feature. That's already mounted in the car, but I bought this number one. Um, this is now, I have one in my wife's car. I have one of the ESR ones in our my Camaro, which is our summer car. And I now have uh, this, which is uh, now in the Equinox. And when we go outside, you guys will see it there. So that's that was kind of the number one piece. Now, the number two piece is is this fella right here. And, and I bought, again, I've bought this before, um, but I bought it again because I wanted one in this car. And this, uh, what's cool about it is that like most of us, we may have, we have one 12 volt cigarette lighter in our car somewhere. Usually it's on the dash. Uh, some cars will have one on the dash and in the, like the, the console area, sometimes in there. Um, but because I have a dash cam, the dash cam is using that 12 volt adapter, which means it kind of just takes it right out of the, right out of the mix. So I wanted some extra ones. And as you can see here, this is going to give me uh, a total of three. Plus, what I like about it is it's, uh, well, it's one of the cheaper ones that I found, 17 bucks right now. Um, see how this purchased two times. Um, and it has dual USB. So if you have any USB stuff that you need to plug, maybe maybe my wife needs to charge her phone or somebody else comes up with her cable and charge, wants to charge those. 
and it has a, a battery uh, voltage indicator, which is really great because you can see how your battery is doing, especially while you're running to make sure that your alternator is working properly, etc., etc. So I bought this. So if if you if you don't need it, maybe you don't have a dash cam or you have no need to plug in multiple things, then then you're then you're then you're fine, right? Uh, but for me, this is to charge or to power the MagSafe. It's to to power this. And if you don't have that, then those, those two pieces you really don't need. But I, I, I needed it. This, this is the part. This is, this is the hope. This is what I'm hoping is going to be the magic that gets it all working. And this, this is here. It's the J29, J29, right? Bluetooth. And it's the T, T U me. I don't know. Um, and this got great reviews, you know, 73 ratings, four and a half stars. I guess, again, you have to remember or kind of know what you're buying. Now, number one, this is the thing that uh, it didn't even clue into me when I was thinking about this. This is going to plug into your auxiliary uh, port. You can see on the screen here, there's like the auxiliary port. I believe it comes with this and it comes with a cable. So just in case you don't want it sticking there and you want to be able to tuck it in somewhere. Um, this will be able to charge so you can charge this okay so you charge this up and it's battery operated and as you can see here it says 12 hours of battery life cool but for me my hope is i believe this comes with a usb port and where i have my auxiliary and this has been in this car and one of our previous cars that this probably would have worked with as well if i would have been thinking about it um is that right beside the auxiliary port, I believe there's a USB plug, which will supply power. So as you can see here, right, dual device connection, 12 hour battery life, but I believe it can be powered from the USB so that it doesn't run off the battery in here. It's just constantly charging, which means that you should have un unlimited power. That's the hope, this is it. So my whole, kit here uh, you're looking at $22 $16 so say $40 and then uh, something to hold your phone mine was 30 something dollars well, you can definitely get them cheaper especially if you don't need a mag safe one so there it all is the key is now is does it work because that's kind of important um, just so you guys can see this because I think this is the important part of this right this that's that's getting tucked in somewhere there we go yeah so we got a longer cable longer auxiliary cable if we need it um, we have the shorter one so if you want to be able to just plug it straight in and depending see because mine's going to go in my glove box the the side the console one uh, i probably don't want this because i'll be throwing stuff other stuff in there and i don't want anything to land on it and then bend this or break this so being able to plug this into this this guy and then lay it flat on the bottom i think will be better and then you have your USB charger cable. And really it just kind of looks like a key fob, right? Really that's all it does, it looks like a little key fob. So you have your, my guess is your ability to get it to pair. It is, it weighs absolutely nothing. It is like so light. Uh, there's gonna be where you plug all this stuff in, pow, right like that. And then this side goes into your auxiliary in your car. And then this is gonna plug in there, like so. And then again, the other side, going into the auxiliary or the USB in your car. And that's it. That's, that's, that's the magic. That's, that's the hope. All right, let's go, let's go outside and see if we can get this thing to function. Because if so, for one, I'll be happy, but my daughter will be super happy because she likes to be able to play music off her phone through the stereo. All right, let's go outside. Okay, so there, there's, there's the car, right there. And that's what we're installing all this stuff into. Or so is the hope. And you can see, there's my little dash thing going on over there. Very nice. We're just going to put this up here somewhere, I think. Okay. So we, we should have 
everything kind of in here. Now, this part, my guess is, because it's just Bluetooth, uh, you could do this part ahead of time. So, for instance, if you're like me and you're in the cold, you may decide that this is this is a better thing for you and I to do in the car. So if I come here to my Bluetooth, and my guess is somehow I have to turn this on. I'm going to undo this one so it doesn't be like trying to sense something. If I hold this, anything? All right, so little red and blue light are flashing. We're hoping that it shows up at the bottom here. Usually red and blue means that we're pairing. There it is, J29, click. And connected. This went to like a solid blue. You see a little volume indicator come up here. Okay, um, this is where this phone goes right there. And this is where this, and you guys, maybe you can see it down there. There's a 12 volt, a USB, and an auxiliary. So, because this has this, I'm going to plug this in. And it's, this has got a really deep, hopefully, maybe you guys can see it. It's really a deep, like, glove box here, which is why I'm not going to use uh, this one, because this would stick out. I think you guys can see it, right? Which means if I put anything in here, that could just get knocked around. So, this is going here. This is getting undone. This works. It's going to work. Of course it's going to work. This is going to be awesome, right? This, we just drop this in there. Auxiliary in. USB in. Which means, you can see it, we now got power and auxiliary. Cool. We have this fella here, which is just, it's just an extra because I need it for that MagSafe connector that's up there. So I'm just gonna move some of this out of the way and you'll see I have this USB and I got I got nowhere down here to put it. If they would have had a USB adapter in there, then I'd be fine, but they didn't. So I'm uh, out of luck and this, this is my dash cam right here. So we are hoping that this functions. Should have opened this in the house. But, all right, here we go. My guess is, is this just comes with, yeah. It does have a little sticky if you want to stick this somewhere, which I guess would be a cool idea if you really needed it to. This is going to go in there and show your battery power. This comes off. Okay. I'm going to keep those cables nice and tight. And I'm thinking these, you turn on and off depending on if you need power to them or not. I don't know which is which. We're gonna unplug this. This is plugging into this. We'll take this, we'll plug that into there. And then that, that is going in there. Yes, yes. And then we're simply Turn this, we're gonna need to turn the car on. So there we go, we got a little voltage. So our voltage right now coming in around 12, which is okay. Uh, maybe I do need to turn this on, I don't know. Oh, and it says auxiliary jack in. Oh, ho, ho. it's never done that before, auxiliary jack. Again, I wanna make sure. There we go, that little blue light, blue light blue light my dash cam I think just turned on very good I think everything now we got 14.8 volts because the alternator so that's a nice thing to know just it, it, it really just is and this make sure we go back here I don't know why my phone connects and it always comes up like it's on a call and I'm like we're not we're not on a call stop stop being on a call call ended I don't quite understand okay input this works it'll be so good ready find something library sure artist good old ACDC ready real fast whatever 
Oh, coming out of the car stereo. You have no idea how happy I am right now. And because this is coming out of the car stereo through the auxiliary jack, that also means that anything for one that comes out of your phone, so if I went to maps here, let's spin that around. If I went to maps, actually we'll just bring this here, and let's say I was going going to yeah, going to Walmart. Of course, it's waiting for us to move. But this would also come out of the stereo. And it's connecting again to this. I have to figure out why it's auto connecting. That that has nothing to do with this. This has been doing that before. Because uh, I have to keep telling it to cancel. Ended. cancel. It's, it's, I don't understand why it does that. Anyways, uh, I'd say this is working fantastic because the fact that I can come in here and just be like... Music. Music. So good. All right, guys. I'm going to put links down below if you guys are at all interested in this setup. And again, this is the parts that I use. Um, really, the only super important part is you having an auxiliary port on your car and the Bluetooth to auxiliary uh, adapter. Uh, but, it, but it seems to work. It seems to work great. All right, guys. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little... Uh, notification bell and we'll see you guys later.